Good afternoon everyone, this is Grizzly907LA, your IAO guy, and today we are going to review Linux Mint XFCE Edition. The XFCE Edition of Mint is a very resource friendly, low power desktop environment, but it's a fully featured desktop environment as well. I am currently doing this video off of my netbook, which is a Samsung MB30 Plus, and it is not a very it's a very old netbook it's about four years old I it you it comes it came with a gig of RAM and I upgraded it to two gigabytes of RAM and as you can see from my conky it's a um, this screen recorders taken up uh, most of the processor speed but if you look at the memory being consumed it's only consuming about half of my RAM which is uh, two gigs is consuming 1.02 gigabytes of that RAM and as I was saying, the XFCE desktop is a very feature-rich but resource-friendly desktop environment. And so we're going to take a look at what you get, and I did add some stuff to this. And I also, as you could tell, themed, uh, um, themed it out and made it look pretty. So you get the terminal emulator, file manager, mail reader, web browser, and we go into settings. You have, uh, you have your uh, theme manager, which is pretty simple and straightforward. I got a nice dark theme dialed into it. I like the dark theme, it's easy on the eyes. It's the XFCE darkness theme. And the reason why I'm kind of talking about the themes a little bit is because the nice thing about uh, many of the Linux desktop environments and Linux itself is you could theme it and make it look the way you want. With Windows, with Windows 7, Windows XP, and Windows 8, you can make your desktop look a certain way, but however, you cannot install any just any desktop environment. You're stuck with the one that it can't that has Windows that Windows installed on it. and it's not even a desktop environment it's the whole operating system integrated to where you boot up to a graphical desktop environment if I wanted to I could boot this machine up to a command prompt and the beauty is you can install different desktops you can install them side by side you can mess with them you can theme them you can install stuff like the conky right here you can install a, um, a dock bar I got docky installed here and you can do all sorts of stuff with this, um, with these desktop environments, and that that goes the same for XFCE. So we got accessories, application finder, archive manager, bulk rename, calculator, file search, character map. I installed the Conky manager. I installed Docky, document viewer, which is your PDF viewer, font viewer, menu editor, screenshot, task manager, text editor, the Thunar file manager, which is the equivalent to um, Windows Explorer and here's the cool thing too you can also install different file managers if you want to you're not just stuck with the same uh, with, with, uh, with, with one file manager you can install Thunar you can install Nautilus, Nemo um, there's a KDE file manager and you can install them side by side and you could use them interchangeably USB image uh, writer USB stick formatter we got graphics we got the GIMP GThumb, Image Magic, LibreOffice Draw, Restretto, Image Viewer, and Simple Scan. Internet, Firefox, I install Google Chrome, HexChat, Pigden Messenger, Thunderbird Mail, and uh, Transmission for your BitTorrents. Multimedia, I installed uh, Audacity, it, came, it comes with Banshee. I installed a Gwai Yedek Music Player because it's a good, it's actually a very excellent substitute for Winamp, and I like streaming. Uh, music off of it because the radio reception I get in my uh, building is horrible. Got the Pulse, uh, where's my mouse at? There it is. Come on, come on, there you go. Uh, you got the Pulse uh, audio volume control simple screen recorder which I installed. I guess there's some sort of video shortcut, VLC media player, media player, GovC view which is your webcam software, and I also installed vocal screen and I don't know which one's better yet. I'm trying the simple screen recorder out for the first time. You get a full featured office suite. With, I I don't remember if I installed this or if it came with it. So, you know, you can um, look that up for yourself. So, we have LibreOffice, Calc, Draw, Impress, Math, and Writer. So, everything you need out of the box for your day-to-day uh, -day functions. We have system tools, the GDB package manager, driver manager, domain blocker, Software Manager, Task Manager, Time Date, Ubuntu Builder, I put that on there myself, Update Manager, Upload Manager, Users and Groups, XFCE Terminal. And as you can see here, I got this Conky, I got the, um, not the Conky, but the Docky Dock Bar installed because 
I'm uh, I have my uh, netbook plugged into my big monitor, so you're seeing this big full screen. But the reality is my uh, my my um, my netbook screen resolution is very small. Let's go to display. There we go. And the laptop screen manager. Let's use this out. The laptop screen is very uh, is very small. This configuration. It's 1024 by uh, 600. So let's get out of that. uncheck that keep that configuration there we go so it's a very small screen so I usually stick uh, put my uh, stuff along the um, the taskbar right here but since I have such a small screen I installed docky and I put all my uh, most frequently used um, shortcuts down here and I got a conky it's it's a basic conky it's a um, it keeps the time it shows how much uh, hard disk space I have how much RAM and CPU usage and the CPU usage is at a hundred percent because this is an Intel Atom processor. I think it's a single core, so it's not a very fast machine. And I did last year when my when my uh, desktop died. I did try to put Windows 7 on this machine, and it took forever and it wouldn't boot up. And you know what? I've been kind of looking for a, distrib a Linux distribution that I like on this machine. It was a gift from a friend, and he put Ubuntu on it. And just to be honest with you. I hate the Ubuntu Unity interface. It drives me up the frickin' wall. I do not like it. I've been building and, building and fixing computers now for 22 years. I started out with, like, DOS 5, I think. And uh, I've used Dr. DOS. I've used DOS 6. And I was really... It was the bee's knees when I was um, able to get a hold... When I was able to get a hold of Windows uh, 3.1. And when we migrated in the, in the place I was working at from... Three, uh, from uh, from DOS, which had like a menu program, and you had these menus you arrowed down, and you know it was just very primitive. But when I went to Windows 3.1, it was the be it was great. From there, we went, you know, I I got into Windows 95, 98, so on and so forth. And I've been using Linux now on and off since 1999, and I've just Linux the Linux desktop has just gotten to the point where I could do my daily functions on it, whereas before I could not do that. And it's and it's really come a long way. I mean, Linux Mint. I've been playing with. I've been playing with the different um, flavors of Linux Mint. This one's the like I said. This one's the XFCE edition. I've been playing with the Linux Mint Mate or Mate. I like to call it Mate. Arr, matey, you know. But we can call. It, I can call it Mate if you want. But anyway, Mate is also a very good, familiar desktop. Because when I've been dabbling with Linux up until a few years ago, I was mainly messing with GNOME 2. But then they decided to go to GNOME 3 and go with that stupid freaking Unity-like interface. And I don't know what they were thinking. So the uh, the GNOME project uh, forked off into um, Cinnamon and Mate. And they're both very good desktops. And XSCE is a great desktop. I use it on my main system with uh, my main system that's using uh, that's running off of Manharo Linux. And it's awesome. And it's low on resources. It's efficient. It's neat. It's clean. You could um, you could theme the taskbar. You could do all sorts of stuff. Say I want to see. I got this very simple drop down menu here, just to save space because I have a very uh, I have a very small uh, viewing area normally on my screen when I don't have it plugged into the monitor. So this is nice. It's clean. It's thin. It's efficient. I like the. But if you want to add a more Windows like interface to it, you could. Uh, you could do something as simple as this. Go to panel, add new items, and you could put in the, where is it at? Come on now. Launcher, what time it is, places, whisker menu, there we go. So add the whisker menu, close it, and there's your whisker menu. And let's just move that over here for, uh, for purposes of, oh, come on. There's the whisker menu, and as you can see, as soon as it loads up, come on, there you go. You can see the whisker menu has a very Windows XP slash Windows 7 type uh, look to it, and I got this kick-ass theme on it. It's the um, XFCE darkness theme, Menu Libre, I don't want to see that. How did I click that? Don't know. 
and it's got a very the whisker menu's got a very Windows like uh, desktop, which a lot of people are familiar with. So if you want something a little more beefier for for a drop down menu, then um then this thing right here, you can always do the whisker. And that's what I like about uh, Linux is you have choices. You could do different things. You can you can customize it the way you want to customize it. And I just think it's a it's a kick ass uh it's a kick ass version of Mint. You know, before in the past XS, XFCE wasn't all that hot, but it's come a long way. And it's like I said, it's clean. It's low on system resources. It's not a resource hog. And for example, I was in Windows 7 on my main desktop today because that's kind of my backup operating system in case I can't do something on um, on my Manharo desktop. And it was just and Windows was just running so slow. It was just such a dog. And I defragged it and I did the um, I did the crap cleaner thing with it and all this other stuff. And it was just I just noticed how slow it, it was because I haven't been on Windows in like a month. And but then I go to my uh, Manharo desktop and it's just fast, it's clean, it's efficient, it's good to go. And so you got all the indicators here. You got the weather thing here. It tells you the weather, time, all the accoutrements on this on this netbook. And like I said, this netbook is not the fastest thing in the world. It's not. It's not gonna be. But since I have Linux Mint XFCE edition, it's usable. I would love to get a, a modern laptop, maybe a um, 13 or 14 inch laptop that's not too big, but I can't afford one. So if I need to go on the road, I could take this with me and I could have something that's workable. And that's another thing I like about Linux is you could take old PCs, refurbish them, install a version of Linux using either the XFCE desktop or the LXDE desktop, which I will do a review on. And it's, 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 you know, it's, nice to bring back old computers because this is not a bad computer okay it's just an older computer it's low spec it's not a piece of crap and the way I look at a, a crack computer something that's gonna be that's gonna break down it's not gonna work right it's always gonna have problems that's not gonna boot up it's gonna be fussy if you try to install Linux on it and this computer is not the case okay this computer it's functional it works it just can't handle the massive system requirements that an operating system like Windows puts on it. Because and not and just on top of just the the requirements that Windows has, you gotta put the virus program on there. You gotta put a malware program on there. You have to have a you have to defrag it. You have to clean out you have to optimize the registry and just go through all this histrionics just to get the damn thing working. With uh, Linux you don't have to do that. Let's get out of this. You don't have to do that. It's it's dialed in. You don't need a virus program. I don't run a virus program on Linux. I don't run a malware program because I don't worry about malware and viruses on a, on my Linux desktops. I don't worry about it with my netbook. But the downside to running these types of um, a Linux operating system in a Linux desktop is sometimes you're going to have to put a little work in. Sometimes you're going to have to roll up your sleeve and um, and go hit the command line if you need to fix something. And that's not for everybody. But it's for me, like I said, I've been building and fixing computers for a number of years, for 22 years actually. And I don't mind doing it up to a certain point and then I get frustrated. And that's why, you know, that's why, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this as my first official Grizzly IAO Tech Channel review is because I'm so stoked that I was able to bring this, uh, this netbook back from the dead. Because otherwise, I was thinking to myself, what am I going to do with this thing? Am I going to sell it on Craigslist, try to get a couple bucks for it? Am I going to donate it to the um, Salvation Army? Or am I just going to have it disposed of? And then I saw some videos from guys like Spatry. Um, no, his name is not Mike. No, it's the, the more guy. I forgot his name. God, I'm so terrible at names. Toss Today and other, um, other channel uh, hosts that were doing videos that were talking about, hey, you know what? resurrect your old hardware bring it back to life you know here's some here's some uh, resource friendly linux distributions you could use to get them up to get things up and running and i'm like you know what let's give it a try and i experimented with linux distributions and i will do reviews on these such as lxee linux Lite. i did a um did i do an, did i do a um ubuntu xfce install on this i'm not sure i don't think i did 
and then I finally hinged on uh, Linux Mint XFCE edition, which is built on top of Ubuntu, which is a very stable and robust uh, Linux operating system, but it doesn't have the Unity interface, and you'll get familiar with these, with these terms as we're going along. And I put it on there, I dialed it in, I got it nice and themed, and look at it. I mean, this is a beautiful screen. I don't care what anybody says, this is a really dialed in, nice themed looking desktop. I got the uh, docky here, I got the conky. You know, it's simple, but it's it's appealing to the eye. Because I know some people that may be familiar with Linux will look at it and, feel, and see some of the um, Linux uh, desktops from yesteryear, and they're clunky, they're boxy, they look like something out of the out of the late 80s, the early 90s, you know, just ugly, hideous looking desktops. And some, you know, some people dig on that. Me, I don't. I like looking at an aesthetically pleasing desktop like this one. So, there you have it. I know I went a bit fast. This is my first uh, tech review on my new channel. And I'm just going to tell you, you know, if you have an old computer that's sitting there getting dust or you need to get it working or if you have an old laptop or netbook like I do, you know what, give a... Give Linux Mint XFCE Edition a try, as well as some of the other um, lightweight Linux desktop distributions or distros. So this is Grizzly907, your IAO guy. I hope you guys are having an awesome July 5th, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.